Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salam khan here. And today we see the four cross one multiplexer. All right. Uh, the four to one or four cross one max. Let's say right shortly. All right. So you know it's clear now from the name that we, over here we have four input lines. We have four input lines. And the output line, of course, is 1. Now, now, to determine the number of select lines, we have n is equal to 2 to the power m, or m is equal to log 2 of n. Now, you know that from the previous video, right? So, here we have n4. We have n is equal to 4. So, we have m is equal to log 2. And I can write 4 as 2 to the power 2. So, if I bring 2 down in log of... 2, 2 is equal to 1. Now this log A of A we know from the previous video. So this implies that in this case the number of select lines are 2. Alright, select lines. Okay. So now if I draw a general diagram of this mark, so we have it like this. Okay. Let's say this is the 4 cross 1 marks. So we have four inputs, one, two, three, and four, I naught, I one, I two, and I three, let's say. And we have a single output that is Y, let's say, and two select lines, S naught and S one. Out of this, this S one is the most significant bit and S naught is the least significant bit. You need to remember, okay? that this S1 is the most significant bit and S0, this is the least significant bit. Okay, now, if we draw the truth table for it, so depending on S1 and S0, the value of Y would be selected. So, there could be combinations as this, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, uh, 0, and 1, 1, all right? So now uh, this 0, 0 is equivalent for 0, so which means I0 will be selected in this case, okay? And then if you have uh, a, oh, a 0, 1, so this is equivalent for 1, so I1 will be selected. Then if you have a 1, 0, so this is for 2, and I2 would be selected, and 1, 1 is for 3, so I3 would be selected, all right? Now if you write down the equation for it, you write down... Uh, the equation which means y is equal to psi, so see that this would be S1 complement, S0 complement into I0. Alright, because this one is not on high, a low and I0 is I0, okay, it would be selected, so that would be of course a high, so that's it's not complemented. You know how, it, why is that, okay? Why am I taking the low is complement and not, and the high is not complementary, okay? So then we have an S1 complement, S0 and uh, I1, okay, then we have an S1, S0 complement, I2, and finally we have an S1, S0 and I3. Now this is the equation to obtain what? To obtain a 4 cross 1 multiplexer. Now if you, if, if you want to draw the logic diagram, so, you know, we are going to require 1, 2, 3, and 4 AND gates, and then, of course, we have to OR all of them. So, let's say this is the first AND gate, this is the second AND gate, this is the third AND gate, and this is the fourth AND gate. And then you have to do what? You have to OR all of them. All right. And what you need at the inputs are S1. S1 complement, okay, S0, S0 complement, and I0, I1, I2, and I3. Okay, so let's say uh, this color, blue color, is representing S1, and the red is representing its complement. All right. And then let's say we have this black color representing S2. 
and this green color is representing its complement. So this is S2's complement, all right? And this one, the red one is S1's complement. No, this is S0 complement, okay? We have the, the second is what? The second is S0. It's not S2, okay? So you give it like this, and you give the blue like this. Now have a look. What do you have to the first one? You have an S1 complement, you have an S0 complement, and you have an I0. So which means this is given to this gate. Then we have this red given to this gate as well. And we have another that is, uh, so I don't have any other color left. So let's say I represent it by a blue, we have an I not given. So this is directly an I not given also. Okay. Then to the second gate, we have an S1 complement. We have an S1 complement. We have S0 and we have I1. So this is S0. And finally, we have an I1. So let's say this green color represents I1 over here now. Okay. Now for the third gate, we have an S1, S0 complement. We have S1, we have S0 complement, and we have I2. Let's say this is the I2. All right, and now finally for the last we have S1, we have S0, and we have I3. So this is S1, okay, and this black is S0. And uh, let's say the red represents what? It represents this I3, all right? Now these four AND gates, these four AND operations are now OR together, all right? So this would be given to this, this would be given to this, this, and finally this. All right now, so, so, uh, so this is the final Y, all right? Now this is the final. Now, if you want to you want to include the enable signal as well as we did in the last, so we knew that the enable always has to be one. It was over here, and we know that the enable, if it's zero, so the circuit is not operating, and it always has to be one. So let's say I end it directly over here. Finally, in the final case, I end it over here, and this becomes my final Y. If I give this as one input to it. And the second input now given is an enable signal. If you want to include the enable signal, right? If you don't want to include the enable signal, if you don't want to complicate it, so finally, without the uh, without the enable signal till this OR gate, we have this four cross one multiplexer, all right? So this is the four cross one multiplexer. See you in the next lecture where we see the eight cross one multiplexer. Till then, take care. Goodbye.